Hello, sword boy. Oh. <gasps> is this Punch Girl? Oh. This is Punch Girl. Oh, she's so cute. Ooh, skelly bands. And birds. Oh, look, it's Bastion. Yes. Except way cooler. <laughs> Cause I don't, yeah. I don't hate, I don't hate Bretto. Fuck Bastion. Oh wow. Hello. Red Monica. Oh damn, I'm gay. I'm really gay. And then there's this dude who I don't know. I have not met him in game yet, so. I like his horn mask. Yeah, it's like an Oni style mask. I like it. Fucking awesome. That's the party. Although we only I like, get. I like um, staff dude. Mer Merle High Church. Yeah, basically Merle High Church. Um, <laughs> anyway, hi. He summoned something eldritch. Yeah, and it, it was tentacle. It's actually more taco. Hey, 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 huh. can I get your name? Uh, uh, just, just, I need to know your name because I'm going to tentacle your dick. Um. <laughs> God, I I was just listening to Taz, like I was just listening to the new Taz, uh, so oh my God. I, I'm thinking about Taco a lot right now. Oh, Kravitz liked it. Um, I think about Taco and Kravitz a lot. Yeah. Anyway, hi everyone, welcome to another indie bin. This is Battle Chasers Night of War. Uh, oh I streamed God, a little bit of this. Oh yeah, I hit record as soon as that opening. I like I'm not gonna record that opening video. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, we've been recording it since before you got the screen share. Uh, oh my god. But yeah, so this is an indie bin that may turn into a part one someday. Maybe. We'll see if Samix likes it. Uh, I'm I'm pretty excited. That opening that opening animatic was pretty awesome. We get a punch girl. Um, I'm fine with it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, my file is about an... I only played for about an hour. Yeah, one and a, one and a third hour played. Um, I'm going to actually go I in here. I love that little fire animation. It's so well done. It's really pretty. Sorry if it went a little bit super quiet, but I can barely hear you over the audio, and I can pump the audio up in editing. Um, <laughs> hey, you so, do you. Uh, that's all should be good. I'm gonna hit new game now, and I'm gonna do right. this, and we're gonna check out this game eh, for a little bit, and then maybe, maybe someday we'll come back to it. There's some we like it. In a second, when it finally gets there. <laughs> Years have passed since the great warrior and leader of men, Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan. The wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. So yeah, that's the opening crawl, and honestly, uh, that, the, 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 what you're seeing here with these three and the fire, that's almost what the game looks like, but not as well lit. <laughs> 
Like, the, the lighting in-game is a lot better, so you can actually see everything. But that's basically what this game looks like, and it makes me very- Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, it's super- the voices are super low. Yeah. There's I mean, actual voice acting here, but you can only hear the music. That's I can weird. I barely hear the voice acting. The mix is wrong. I'll go back in and re-record this. And edit the cutscene in proper. Um, once we get in-game, I'll, I'll mess with the settings, because, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why it's so low. That's weird. Yeah. Punch girl punched cannon shells, cause... And giant robot... Has to take care of her. Oh! Oh dear! <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, yeah, that's how the game opens. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, obviously nobody there dies because we get them in the party later. Um, one second, before I do anything else, why is the audio so weirdly mixed? So, we'll turn music volume down. We'll turn master up, sound effects down, and leave voices high. That should fix that mix. That was weird. Uh, anyway. Yes, we did make it, Gully. Barely, but we made it. Oh, she's so cute. And she punches. It's, see, punch. Uh, <laughs> yes. Quality game. Yeah. I, anytime there's a punch girl, I'm like, yes, okay, I'll play your game. I almost played League because there's a punch girl in it. Oh. Uh, I don't, don't know who... Don't I don't, start. No, I would never. I don't fucking... I play Heroes of the Storm once in a very great while, and even then I don't do that anymore. I would never actually start League. Mm. Yes, yes. Really. You're all right. Yes. Are you feeling better? Okay, that's much better with voice. Yeah, I that that was a weird mix for some reason. You've been resting for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. You just jumped in front of a cannon blast. Was I dreaming or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? Nolan. We fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with only minor injuries. I wouldn't call half health minor. Then what happened to him? We don't know. And Garrison? Monica? Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica appears to be missing, along with Nolan. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt! Garrison already went ahead to search for them. Are you sure you're well enough to move? I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Yeah, so the giant death bot is also your healer. Responsible parent. He protect and he also attack. He does. All right, let me heal up really quickly. He's so big. Yeah, Hem's huge. Yep, switching party members. I know. Yep, I know. All right, cool. Thank you. I will always keep Punch Girl out. I will. I will always keep Punch Girl out. Frame rate's a little bit dodgy because I'm streaming the game to you and locally recording. So. <laughs> Uh, the, the frame rate is usually 60 for me. Oh, whoops. I forgot to go do the secret stuff that's over here. Uh, frame rate's usually 60 for me, but uh, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of a, a dip down to, like, the 40 and 30 range, because dual recording of this is uh, not great on my poor laptop. All right, we got some common parts and 18 gold. And we get... 
love the graphic design in this game. Oh yeah, this game's fucking beautiful. We get a drench. Like, those Scout treasure together. chests are so chunky. I like them. So we got a tunic. Um, this is a turn-based RPG. Uh, this is straight up just a Final Fantasy style turn-based RPG with RPG with equipment. So this thing is two plus stamina, so we get ten more health on the old one. Um, but the new one gives us a shit ton more damage or more defense and eight bone, and we keep our bonus damage. So I'm gonna keep that. Um, yeah, I figure we'll find more stuff. Go on. Next to the these pile of bones, the scrawled note awoke in the night, didn't realize what happened until Rochelle wouldn't uh, happened to Rochelle until it was too late, but look in her eyes, it was like she'd never seen me before. She gored me real good before I could uh, before I could react. So ever since finding that mana and that crack in the ground, shouldn't have taken her so close to it. Tired getting dark. Mm -hmm. They found mana. Is there more? Nope. Okay. Wasn't sure if it was a exhaust a dialogue option thing. Okay, so now let's go head up and around and go find Garrison so we have at least a party three so that we don't... Oh, no, first we have to do a couple fights. Uh, then we'll get Garrison. But, yeah, this this game I played about, uh, yeah, about an hour and 20 minutes on stream yesterday, and it's really fucking good. Here's a slime. Let's fight a slime. Ooh, friend? Is it a friend? No. Oh. Slimes are sentient in this, too. Like, they speak. Um, it'll give us a tutorial, but I'm just going to talk about it really quickly. So, actions. Um, you can see under this it says uh, the, the damage and stuff like that. But then it also says generates 10 overcharge. Which is basically temporary mana. Um, and later on, skills that you get can use overcharge to increase their damage already. Like, Garrison gets a thing that... Uh, it, it does a shit ton of damage, and then on top of that, if you have 40 overcharge, it does um, 0.3 more damage per overcharge spent. So it's it, it's a cool thing. But um, actions generate overcharge, uh, and abilities use mana. So we'll see Obliterate. Um, actually, I'll, I'll gut punch first to give it Sunder so Obliterate does more damage. There's a lot of the synergy stuff, but like this in like this combat is fucking beautiful. So gonna gut punch, and that animation is so satisfying. That animation oh, is that so nice. satisfying. Um, Dots. Just gonna jab. Um, she's more of a defend. Like she's more of a tank than anything. Um, cool. Like her health is the highest in the entire party uh for me at where i'm at i'm still only an hour in but uh and she has a bunch of defensive stuff like uh reduces all damage by 50 percent until next turn um and then uh places damage shield on an ally that absorbs 31 damage stuff like that uh it's for, it's interesting for someone with her design i'd expect her to have more you know punch oh she gets more punch trust me um this one she just picks up a rock and throws it like, she just That's picks cute. up a, a giant rock and throws it. She eventually gets a skill that she punches the ground, and just a big old shock wave comes out and hits the enemy with a big old spike of rock. Um, yeah, but we're just gonna jab. We're just gonna... But the animations are so fucking sad. Nature's boon, yeah, I know, I know. Um, so, I could heal, but who cares, honestly? Um, let's go... You know what? No, let's, let's obliterate. You're sundered. Yeah, let's do the extra damage. And... Um... You know what? Just defend. Yeah! Oh, yeah, fuck him up. The, the Girl, animations older, are older, so older. satisfying. There, there's like this weight to them that is... Very nice. So, yeah, get yeah, XP. You're absolutely right. Everything does seem like it has weight to it. Yeah. Especially, God, the the way that that Bretto is designed. He's just like, everything about him is heavy and he's throwing around like hundreds and hundreds of pounds of weight. Yeah, him, him punch good too. That's why, that, that's why him and, go oh yeah, there's fishing in this game. Fishing uh, mini games. 
there's if your game mm, don't have a fishing mini game in any game uh you're, you're not even wrong um a lot of games have fishing mini games that i would not expect okay garrison went uh northeast looking for them we shed that direction yeah, i'm sure they're fine but we need harry just in case I acknowledged uh so we can kind of just go across this map and fight things all we want so what i'm gonna do is go up here for this treasure um yay loot <laughs> Sign up to a slime and a spider. Uh, Creeps over my protection. You will not harm them. And how about we... Slime. Both of these can poison, so let's just fuck them up. No matter what. There's, I need to slow down that animation and look at it, like, frame by frame. Because there's a... There's a wind-up to it, but it hits so fast... And I, I need to see how many frames that punch actually is, because it feels like it's like two frames. But it, it works really well. So um, you can see with the dots that they are, and down on their names in the bottom corner, that it, it tells you what they're casting eventually. Um, we don't have our... We haven't met my wife yet, so we're, we're going to go until we meet my wife at least. <laughs> um, uh, we're going to have to share, I can tell you right now. Um, All right. Because you're going to fight me. Uh, but well, you... Eventually, how many, like how many girls are there? There's, there's a few, but you know, you're you're gonna f try to fight me. Um, <laughs> uh, eventually, you get a a bestiary. So the more you kill an enemy, the more you learn about it. You learn its attacks, its health, and all that stuff. Um, yeah. So we're just gonna yeah, we're just gonna punch. Oh, so goofy. Yeah. It's, it's almost like a goop murloc. Um, yeah, it's you're not wrong. Sundered, so let's kill it. Um, scatter shot. <laughs> yep. See, just throw a rock. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> throw a rock so for 16 cute. damage. Oh no! Oh, you hit punch, girl. You're gonna get fucked up. There's just like, yeah. even her animation is just like this, it's a long wind up and then just like an instant hit and it feels so satisfying to watch it. It's yeah. like when people talk about like how satisfying it is to call back a uh, dad of war's axe. Yeah, like, I was just thinking that. Everyone talks about how fucking satisfying that is. And I'm like, is it really that satisfying? But now that I'm like, now that I'm seeing like an animation like this, it's like, yeah, no, I get that actually. Like, I think I get what you mean. <laughs> uh, we got a new tunic in case you missed the other one. This one's a little bit better, but I like the the uh, it loses some damage. Uh, I think it get, no, it loses some defense and gains some damage is what it does. But I like the I like the blue one more. Which, I, no, I just want to do the fight. defense with her. Um. I, I'm just looking to do all the fights because it's fun. Yeah, it's this. It's actually speaking feast. Feast. Yeah, they're. It's like me after fucking, I've been drinking. Yeah, mm, th mm, last night, uh, that was me. <laughs> I. Mm, mm. Ooh, I'm remembering. I'm remembering last night now, and I'm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh god. Whee! That is such a cool healing animation. What the yeah. fuck? I just love that he... And watch the ready stance when it's his turn, too. It'll change. Um, yeah. Uh, take a... Just go up the spider. Um, I just love that the giant death bot is... Yeah, see, his kiss cannon comes out and everything. I love it. Um, yeah. I, and they have a little dialogue in the in the thing, too. Um, I fought a, I fought a uh, optional boss, and I got some cool gloves for her. Uh, but it's literally like they shit talk each other throughout the entire fight. It's fucking great. Um, That's awesome. Let's go after. Yeah, you're gonna take the slime, and you're gonna also hit the slime. Actually. Uh, so, non, 
non-attacks, like skills, take uh, an extra little bit... Uh, they take one extra turn, essentially. They take one extra action. Um, so obliterate... Uh, you can see it says, like, obliterate mana cost 20. It's very fast. It's not instant. So it'll only be the next action after, after one, but it won't ever be the same time you hit it. Like, with uh, action, it's an instant, so I just immediately do it. Ah, okay. Yeah. Which is actually Lame. super, super good to do, um, like to pay attention to because I got killed in a really hard fight um, at when I stopped playing yesterday uh, because I did not pay attention to the fact that the thing I wanted to do was a fast action, so it would two, it was two uh, two actions later, and the enemy beat the shit out of me and killed me before my healing cast. Uh, yeah. so, yeah. That's a, that's a thing. Uh, hey, Garrison, what's up? Gully, I'm glad you're alright. What you did during the airship battle, shielding the cannon blast. You would have done the same for me. Maybe, but with messier results. Yeah, you would have died. You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I'm pretty sure she's all right, my dude. I had no choice. No, I guess not. Survived that fall and defended y'all against all of that, and they're still fine. You. Sh uh oh, you're cutting out. I think your internet is mad at us. Oh, and when I. I believe he was trying to thank you. Mm. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I haven't. And this village looks long abandoned. Just what? There are lights on the horizon. You're still cutting east. out. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survived, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean, if? Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica, too. You're probably right. Must go find them. I do wish there was a bit more... I, I said this on the stream yesterday. I wish there was a little bit more portrait art for conversations. Uh, handwritten things, spoils of war, general returns. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of lore there. Um, so... That's... I didn't see that before. That's weird. But we now have a map of stuff. And we get to test out Garrison's abilities. Battle time! Yeah, hey, there you are. In Yay! So, he has Swift Strike and Parry, both his, his instant attacks. So, you reduce all damage taken by 40% next turn of attack while active. Garrison's attack power will increase by 5% for one turn. And then he has Cleave, Rally Strike, and Warblade. This is the one that I was talking about that consumes uh, uh, overcharge. So it consumes oh, okay. up to forty, yeah. over, up to forty overcharge, adding point two damage. I was the next level, so it's point three, um, dealing forty four damage, and then adding more if for all the for all overcharge consumed. Um, I His think sword that, is fucking huge. He's just guts from Berserk. He's just guts. <laughs> like. If you look at him right now, that's just guts in different armor. Actually, not even really that different. That's basically just guts. Um, wow. I'm gonna. Well, I think it might actually be dead, so I'm gonna just defend. <laughs> it's gonna get its attack off first, but I mean. Yeah. Oh, added pl overcharge. Yeah, I know overcharge. Bam! One hit wonder. Bonus XP added. So if you do over, that's literally just guts. That's just how guts stands. <laughs> um, hunched over and everything. Fucking. Bam. It's just guts. Uh, so if you do like an extra thing like a one hit kill or get uh, over uh, like an overkill, so you do like a shit ton of extra damage that you need than you need, 
um, you get X bonus XP. So it's always good to do that. So yeah, we got eight more XP than we would have normally. So we got 64 instead of 56. Nice. Very nice. There's loot on the I other really map. I really do love this overworld map. It's really good, and it's really pretty. Oh yeah, okay. Town just north. We have to go there first. Okay, we'll go see my wife. Like, Why it was who? instant. Why it, who? it wasn't even like... It wasn't even like I, I like, took a second. It was the, the frame that she came up on the screen. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I'm married. Um, <laughs> uh, this must be the village. See a few lights, but no people. Where are they? Let's bang in a few doors. Okay, we're going to my wife first. The bone hut. Oh my god. I, oh my god. So, I mean, we can move to Utah so we can both get married to her, or... Um... Help, I'm gay. Uh, I, I am believe. also gay! Yeah. And where are they? Never mind. The gay, <laughs> the gay girls. Is that what you were gonna say? Maybe. Yes, you were. I knew it. Okay, Shut up. so Beastmaster Raha. Well, well. We have a fresh band of adventurers loose here in the Vale. Experienced ones, no less. I've seen our fair share of battles, and you. <laughs> I have, though by the way you hold your blade, not the same kind. Let's just say my foe are the wilder kind. I just love she has, like, a fucking werewolf draped across her as a cape. Uh, like, yeah. just the help, claws are I'm on gay. And everything, and, I, and her ears, and, and help. The, the, the sides, the side hair, and the, just, I help. help. Help, I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Raha, Beastmaster Raha. As I see it, only foes worth fighting are the untamed kind. Lucky you, this island's littered with them. So we've seen, haha, the slimes and bats in the woods around town? No, you're in far, for far worse than that. We're looking for lost friends, not hunting for trophies. Indeed, many get lost on this island. Rescue mission or not, you could use some basic advice to survive here. Use this bestiary journal, track the creatures you fought. You'll find doing so rewards you with insight into their strengths and weaknesses. Survive long enough, and I'll point you towards more worthy tests. So she gives us optional, like, super bosses to fight. So is she um, like a werefox? No, I think she's just a cat woman, and she hunts things and just happens to have a cape made out of a she uses a spear so I'm already in love because I mean my hunter in WoW uses a spear but yeah nice. I think she's just she's just that's just her um she's perfect I would not be surprised if her battle armor if, if it's not that if she just put that fucking werewolf on like just <laughs> just slipped her hand, arm into the into the arm and put the head over hers as a helmet and I mm. clipped it together with that claw necklace thing. Yep. Well, you can see it's it's attached at the brooch thing on her shoulder. So it's uh, it's literally there as a cape. Uh keep Don't get killed, keep your eyes up. More talk. Also her voice. Oh. Yes. Goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Gee. Uh, there's this dude over here no. who I, I can't do anything with. Just... Oh! A friend! Mm-hmm. He's just the collector. Uh, I don't have whatever currency he fucking uses. Yeah. I don't have, yeah, so blade. I can't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a knife specifically for cutting butts. Yeah. You're not wrong. Uh, Book of Secrets. Well-made sign hangs on an oiled gargoyle in front. It says out to lunch. Okay, I'm not gonna be a Leave. dick and... I'm no. not gonna throw the sign on the dirt. That's just... Why would you do that? That's awful. Let's go meet Grimbeard. Grimbeard. Pull massive doors open. You're the townsmith. Hey. Who the hell is friend! Yeah, him's big. That's a rough way big to greet strangers. Oh, I want a hug. Being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Aye, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. 
And your hammer better be heavy. Speaking of forsaken lands, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Seems right enough. Though not quite pirates, as you see. Bandits. Simple as that. Also, he's got a robot hand, so... Just thugs full of hot air. But I pain in the ass, love sorry. cyborg Bandits. friends. Who do they work for? Well, being bandits. Themselves, mostly. Well said. They're acting differently the last few moons. Less scatterbrained. More organized. As a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. We'd like to chat with them. <laughs> chat. A few weaklings came by, causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that way, if you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. Come on in. Okay, so we can't buy anything from him, and he won't say anything right now, so that's all for now with him. Uh, in and Tavern. Stay a while. Hi. Him's big. Oh my uh, god, so many big people. I just, I just want hugs from everybody. Yeah. So, oh, this is the one that has more defense. It loses attack. Yeah, it's more defense. Hungry? Be well. Uh, you know what? Actually, I will put that on her. Uh, since she's our tank anyway, it's plus 30 health as well. So, yeah, we're gonna... Yeah, yeah we're gonna that's, that. that's a good idea. Stay a while. So, we're gonna sell this. And we don't have anything else, because there's crafting and shit in this game, so... Shit. Damn. Uh, and one last you thing You gotta have we crafting, end. I guess. Yeah, well, you get to make your own, like, cool weapons and armor and shit, so I'm fine with it. Uh, one last thing. Every time you rest at a, a tavern, you get a little bit of the story, so let's do that. Hello. Well, bravely today, Armus would be proud. Thank you. I Wait, where are you going? Just stepping out for a minute, and you get some rest. What about you? Don't you ever sleep? Not if I can help it. Hey, hey, hey I know that feeling. Dots. You don't need to worry. The inn's safe, as far as I can tell. Calabretto won't leave your side. Isn't that alright? Just Get some sleep. Okay. It's not me I'm worried about. So the next one that you get is, uh, is Garrison and Calabretto arguing. Um. Oh. About stuff. Uh, but yeah, this, the shop here, um. Mystery shack. So we knock on it. Tinkering, no one uh, opens. Knock again. Tinkering stops briefly. Few curt profanities, no one answers. And then Hal Calabretto knock. Oh, God. The door nearly flies off its hinges. This dude refuses to actually do anything until later, so... Um, it's honestly pointless to talk to him, but it's always nice to at least get some new art. Uh, oh, my, a war golem. It's almost fascinating enough to warrant my time. Being fascinating is a requirement. Yes, now please stop knocking and go away. I expect you to buff out the damage of my beautiful antique entry. Yep, and that's it. That's all That's all you get from him for now until after you beat this boss down here. So, yeah, dick. this is Battle Chasers Night War, and maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll see this pop up again later. Uh, maybe yeah. so. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. Sleep tight.